take the next 30 to 40 minutes. And I'm gonna give a lot of detail about the following topics. The emotional, the emotional feelings I had when Ali was born and how I felt. The, um, all the cute things she did when she was little. The, um, the wide variety of abilities that she have in sports, in academics, and in arts. She was quite versatile. Also talk about how Ali and Frank love each other and also how photogenic they are. I've, I've, I've never seen a bad picture of them. And you know, could you please send me some? So I think, you know, let's forget that and let's get this party moving along. Let's join me in wishing Ali and Frank health and happiness and may God bless their marriage. Thank you very much. week of school. I loved hanging out with Allie because she was always game to do something interesting, whether it was a 2 a.m. snowball fight, a late night trip to Lower for chicken fingers, or trying to sneak into a mod party. Allie would make friends everywhere she went, and it wasn't hard to understand why. She is the best mix of everything. Not only is she engaging and fun-loving, but she is one of the most intelligent people I have come across. In college, she's the only person I knew who could spend hours debating Russian literature, but was equally as knowledgeable about obscure Friends trivia and could find the perfect Arrested Development quote to go with any situation. But most importantly, Allie is an incredible friend. She goes out of her way to include everyone in her, her adventures, is thoughtful and kind, and can always be counted on to listen and be there for her friends. After graduation, we moved on to our own adventures. Allie took a job in Boston, and I moved out to the West Coast. We kept in touch regularly, and one day, a few years later, Allie casually mentioned in a conversation that she had started dating Frank DeLucia. I knew Frank from college. We traveled in the same group of friends and had hung out at the occasional Hardy Gras, so I was naturally curious about whether this guy, who still wore his phone on a belt clip, <laughs> and who had had the same Facebook profile picture since 2005, was a good match for my friend. Frank soon became a close friend, and I found that he is one of the most loyal people you can have in your corner. Frank brings out Allie's most confident and grounded self, while Allie pushes Frank to try new things. It's been so fun to see them grow together as a couple. Allie and Frank, I am beyond excited to be here tonight as you start on this next adventure together. I'm so lucky to have you as friends. <laughs> and wish you a lifetime of laughter, love, health, and adventure. Hi, Frank. Take you, Allie, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Allie, take you, Frank, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you, to love you, and to honor you, and to honor you, all the days of my life, all the days of my life. Allie, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Frank, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 
Frank and Allie, you are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. There are two people I think deserve special recognition for making time in their schedule to travel to a wedding down at the Jersey Shore in the middle of October, and that would be Frank and Allie. These are two people constantly on the go so much that not only is it fascinating to see, it's often exhausting just to watch and hear about. Since 2007, summer ends, fall comes, and then these two inevitably start schlepping up to Boston each weekend for football games. And since 2007, your boys on the gridiron only have a 52% chance of winning a game. So the four to seven hour drive, every home game, every season, for a coin flip of a game doesn't seem that worth it to me. It seems to me at the time that a girl from BC, whom I have never heard from before, that Frank was now dating, had a ski house. So I wasn't overly optimistic that it would last through the winter. Now it turns out I was duped because Ali Leshik was in fact Lauren Alley, whose name I did know, and someone I had met years ago when I visited BC. So there was a little bit of a Puff Daddy P. Diddy situation going on there, but I don't think that's my fault. But once Alley start co started coming around, it was quickly apparent that she would be here to stay. Soon enough, Allie starts driving down from Boston on Friday nights for the weekend. Next, Allie moves to Jersey City. Turns out that wasn't close enough. Then she moves to Hoboken. Then, of course, they moved in together. Now, this is the third best man speech I've given. The subjects of the other two are here today. And in both those speeches, I said something to the effect of Mike and Joe being like brothers to me. I can say without a doubt, that everything I know about being a good brother, I learned from my big brother. I am excited to have a new sister and another Mrs. Delusia in the family. I could not be happier for you two. This has been a long time coming, which seems to be a common recurrence like, that people keep mentioning this weekend, but I couldn't be happier for you guys. Cheers. I want to take a brief moment to thank everybody from the bottom of our hearts from coming here today. Um, there are a lot of people here that are very important to my life, very important to Allie's life, uh, and a lot in which we've intersected. But hopefully after tonight, both sides are coming together and you know, whether you're friends or family, after tonight, everyone here is family. And you're here because you mean the most to us and we would not have imagined uh, having tonight without all of you here. So thank you all very, very much. It means the world to us that you're all here. Uh, made a lot of sacrifices to be here. Um, and thank you.